Okay, this is Pete Peppers from Candy Crush Soda Saga Tips, and this is a quick tutorial about how bubble levels work or get the bear above the can string levels. Um, this is uh, the coolest new, um, well, in my opinion, this is the coolest new level type in Soda Saga. Um, it's completely different than any other type of level we've seen before in a game and um, it's pretty straightforward but we'll just talk about how it works so that you know and if you have any questions you can leave a comment so you can see by the little introduction screen that we have to get the bear that's in the bubble to float above the string um, even though you can't see them here there, there's rows involved and basically you have to get the bear to the row that is above the string in order to uh, move on so this is one of the simplest levels of course it's the first one you can see just by making matches we can easily move the bear until he gets above the string another thing to notice about this is that it is there's soda already on the board and that won't always be the case when you play these types of levels sometimes you have to pop bottles in order to get them to um, fill up the board as you go. So you can't really even see the rows on this one. It, it, um, like I mentioned, this is the easiest one and um, I think most of the bears level, uh, the bubble levels that you play later will require you to um, fill up the board as well. So here you can see he's trapped right below the string. Um, there's several ways we could get him out. We could make the blue match, which would just let him slide up. Or we can match these two together because it'll make the cross. And now he is free, and we've collected our three bears that we need to collect. So I'm just going to pause for a second and then find a level that um, where we have to fill it up. And uh, we'll talk about that. Alright, so this is one of the more difficult early um, get the bear above the string levels or above the level. And as you can see that we only have one row of soda right now, so we're going to have to uh, pop bottles in order to get the board to fill up so that we can get him above the, the line. And the strategy depends, you know, it varies from uh, board to board. The um, the main thing is you you always kind of want to keep the keep the bear moving up while popping bottles at the same time. Fish can help out a lot because they'll go right after the bottles for you. Special candies will help out, especially if you can make combinations of specials with fish because that'll, that'll take out multiple bottles at the same time usually and just like in the other soda levels, the pop the bottles levels it's a little bit tricky sometimes to um, to, to think of how the matches are going to play out because where the soda line is, they're basically two separate boards everything above the line is going to be dropping down normally like in a regular match 3 game and then everything in that's submerged in the soda will be floating up so it, it doesn't work as in such a straightforward way which is one of the things that makes this game really fun and interesting as far as I'm concerned alright so here we can you know we can use the striped candy to pop the bottle and um, set off the other special candy there and you can see that brings up the board and it, once that happens it'll scroll to reveal more of the level this is another thing that I really like about this game compared to the original is um, it has scrolling boards almost like Diamond Digger Saga does except here they're all connected it's not real. it's all one single board you just can't see the whole thing at the same time so you don't get a you know added moves when you move from one to the next like you do in Diamond Digger. But I mean, to me that that that's something we've never seen before in a match three, and it's something that makes it you know really 
a different type of game altogether. Um, you know, there's a million regular match three games out there that basically just use the same mechanics. Um, some are easy, some are hard. Um, most are boring, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, and this is what makes this game really cool is that, you know, we see brand new things that we've never seen before. So, you know, we have trap bottles, we have to get them out of the, um, out of the licorice. If we can't move it up fast enough, we will fail, and, um, we got 14 moves up. There's a pretty good chance that we might fail this time. You can shoot bottles from anywhere with a, with a special candy, and I recommend you do that whenever you can. You can see that when the soda level rises, that the cascades happen going down instead of up, which is pretty neat. You know, sometimes you can feel like, oh man, I'm not going to finish the level because the bear is way at the bottom or something, but a well-timed cascade can help you out just like it does in a regular game, except for your cascade will be going upwards instead of downwards. And um, you can see how it, things are a little bit, a little bit strange compared, uh, based on the um, on the gravity of the board. But if you just think things through, you can you can um, make your way up. Now here's a here's a, an example of um, there's really nothing that we can do get the bear above this this line right here unless we raise the soda level a little bit more so when you get to a situation like this especially in some of the more challenging levels one of the things that you want to keep in mind is um, even though you only have to get it one row above the line sometimes it can be a lot of help to get the soda to fill up the entire board so that you can arrange your matches above the line a little bit easier instead of having to deal with you know pieces going up and pieces falling down once the entire board is filled with soda it'll work just like all the all the it'll work just like a regular board just in reverse all the pieces will be going up so that's about all there is to that um, there's definitely some really challenging ones later and then we have guides and videos that you can watch to see how to get past those if you have any questions about how these levels work, leave a comment below. Please like the video if you found it helpful and visit CandyCrushSodaSagaTips.com for all the information you need to learn how to play this game and get, get the most out of it. Thanks.